director of development. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Any purpose? And I'm the director of development for the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, so the fundraising department here. So we've, we've been working with the Allen's Foundation to make this happen. Yes, ma'am. Um, why does this event like make sense for the museum, and why does uh, working with Yao Ming and the Yao Ming Foundation make sense for the museum? Well, they came to us because they liked our space and they wanted to do the event here, and, and we said that we had a policy of not allowing fundraisers that weren't directly from the museum on site, and it was just a very happy coincidence that they came at the time they did because we're raising funds for a, a gallery for Chinese art, a, a permanent gallery here for Chinese art, and so they said. Um, well, what if we, you know, split you in to the proceeds from the event and we can have the sort of co-hosted fundraiser for the Museum's Chinese Gallery and for Yao's other philanthropic initiatives. And it was just a very nice, happy synergy. Okay, so I guess to help me understand, there's an initiative to create a permanent Chinese art gallery. Was that, I guess, that is the museum's initiative and not the Yao Mei's Foundation? That was an existing museum initiative. I mean, we, we are a museum of world art. We have over 60,000 objects, for example, and um, it's been a real um, focus of ours over the last few years to reinstall all of our Asian collections country by country. So we started with Korea, and then we went to Indonesia, we just opened India, China will be next, and then Japan will follow. And so we're putting about $3 million into each gallery um, and completely refurbishing our existing galleries, adding some works to the collection, and then we unveil them um, to the donors, mostly from the communities that they represent. So in the case of the Chinese gallery, the lead gift from that has come from a Chinese family here in Houston. Um, so it just made a lot of sense when Yao came to us and said he was interested in working with the museum, that we would focus this event on the Chinese gallery. When do you anticipate the Chinese gallery to open to the public? It will open in the fall of 2010, this, this coming fall. Um, and we've commissioned a uh, contemporary Chinese artist, his name is Sai Guo Chong. He did the fireworks for the Beijing Olympics um, for that opening ceremony to do a major site-specific installation in it. So it'll be a very dynamic gallery. It'll mix the contemporary and the ancient you know, all in one space. And again, it will be permanent and dedicated to China all so I guess part of the proceeds for tonight, part of it will go to the Art Gallery and part of it will go to the Yao Ming Foundation? Is exactly, that... exactly. Okay. We're, we'll all go to the Yao Ming Foundation and then they will make a grant to the museum for a portion of the proceeds raised. In addition to this gala, um, what other major events um, is the museum anticipating for this year and next year in addition to this? Event? Well, we have an ongoing schedule of events. So um, after this, in the spring, we have a major fundraiser for Bayou Bend Collection and Gardens, which the museum owns, and it's in River Oaks, the House Museum of American Decorative Arts. Um, and then summer is very quiet in Houston, as you well know. So then we're back, back in the when we get all back from you know our respective summer vacations in the fall, we have um, two major fundraisers: our Grand Gala Ball, and then our event called One Great Night in November, which is a men's only um, cigar smoking event. So we're we're just constantly. Um, Putting together fundraising events for various aspects of the community around here. Yeah. What? No, no. The cigars, the cigar exactly. smoking. Exactly. Yeah. People think that's kind of crazy, but and they used to smoke in the museum, but we can't do that anymore because of the smoking ordinance. Okay. Uh, one last question is, you know, with the economy the way it is, do you have any observations as far as how the economy has, has affected events like these? Um, you know, we're very lucky to be in Houston, Texas, is what I would say. Um, I talk to colleagues in other cities and they're really struggling and I think the people of Houston are so generous and have continued to just, you know, really open their wallets and contribute to us in a really down time. And so we haven't really seen a major shortfall here at the museum. We didn't ever have to lay off staff. You know, we remain pretty confident in our in our ability to, you know, pull off all the programs, exhibitions, education initiatives that we already had planned. One last question is, um, how, can you give me uh, some idea of the size and how much staff you have here at the museum that's helping you? We have, I think it's a little over 500 staff members these days, full-time staff members. But you have to keep in mind that we have a lot of guards, we have a lot of building and grounds um, employees. So, you know, and, then, and that also covers not only these two museum buildings, but the two house museums that we own, at LaSalle School of Art, we have an administration facility, we have a sculpture garden. So it's a very big institution. Okay.